Good morning, Matt. It's Monday. How did you decide? <laughs> Alright, this is my video response to your top five fictional characters with my top five fictional characters. Starting off the list, we begin with number five, Deadpool. That's right. Deadpool is always an option. He's crazy and insane and has voices in his head and breaks the fourth wall and he loves tacos. What's not to like, really? Alright, number four, Tom Collins from Rent. Now, I know you're thinking, why isn't it Mimi? And I love Mimi, but Collins is just the best. He's like the coolest friend, and he's like the, the, the fairy godfather of the loft. And if you are one of those people who don't cry during I'll Cover You reprise, then we just can't be friends because you have no heart or soul or any emotions whatsoever. All right, number three is Parker from Leverage. She is just, as the character Elliot Spencer calls her, 20 pounds of crazy in a 5 pound bag. She is a thief, and she's very socially awkward, and I just love her so much. Because the way she grows over the course of the series is absolutely amazing. And her relationship with Hardison, and her great friendship with Elliot and Sophie and her kind of father-daughter sort of dynamic with Nate is just, ah, she is the, the crux of all the best relationships in that series, with the exception of Elliot Hardison, who are very slashy, but I digress. All right, number two, I kind of did what you did, and I'm going to call this one a tie, but it's a tie in the same genre, so that works. It's Dr. Companions. My number two is Donna Noble, tied with Amy and Rory, and yes, I'm counting them together, because really, you have to have them together. Donna is just so cool and tough, and she's a ginger, and so is Amy, and gingers are really the best. We all know this. And I love how her relationship with the Doctor is the only one that doesn't have any sort of, ooh, where they are, aren't they going to get together sort of thing. She's just his best friend, and it's such, and it's so great. And Amy's a lot the same way with the Eleventh Doctor, and Rory is just Rory. Rory Williams, he is just the end all be all. I want a Rory. If anyone can find me a Rory and send him to me, that would be fantastic. All right, number one, and if you know me even half as well as you should, this shouldn't come as any surprise. Yanto Jones from Torchwood. Yanto makes the best coffee, and he knows everything, and he is so tough and so smart and so very snarky, and I love that. The Welsh vowels help. They really kind of do. I love Yanto because he is just the one who takes care of everyone, and I see part of myself in that. I love how brave and brilliant he is, and I love how even though he's in love with Jack, he doesn't always take Jack's crap, and Jack dishes out a lot of crap. Okay, there you have it, my top five fictional characters. Video response to you. This may actually be the first of the vlogs that I'm thinking of starting, so pretty cool, huh? All right, I will see you whenever you let me know that you saw this.